Hey, welcome back to part three of our 2018 World Championship deck opening. And we're going to continue, as promised, with Naohito Inu. Inu? I don't know. I, I am not the best with pronunciation for any of you who've watched any of my butchering of Pokemon names. But this guy was good enough to get a World Championship deck, and we're going to check it out, basically. Um, as I did with the last videos, let's kind of look at... Uh, see if we can't spot him in the uh, booklet and see kind of what. There you go. So he was the champion of the junior division. So he beat Sebastian Enriquez from the United States. Let's see if we can't get a picture. There we go. That's awesome. So he's from Japan. His deck is Buzz Rock. Now he does deck built around the fighting types Buzzwool, both the GX and non-GX varieties and the midnight form of Lycanroc GX was a popular choice throughout the tournament season and he faced a very similar deck in the finals. He built this version himself and practiced with everyone to prepare for worlds and after all the training he says I felt confident. Now Hito expects his deck of choice to fall by the wayside since some of his best supporter cards have rotated out of standard. No more Buzzwool is his prediction in next year's Worlds. Very smart. Interesting fact for him. Now Hito isn't just a world-class Pokemon trainer. He's also a gymnast. Oh, this guy's, a, this guy's pretty talented then. All right, let's take a look and see what cards are included inside here. Um, let's stick our little... This, this is kind of like my um, my test benchmark for focusing my camera. <laughs> so it's not blurry. Uh, let's see what cards are included in the front. So we get a Deancey Prism Star from Forbidden Light. And also Buzzwall GX from Crimson Invasion. Those were the two that were included. Let's start with his deck. Um, so Super Rod. I think that's the first time we've seen a Super Rod uh, in the deck so far. Professor Sycamore. Always popular. Two, three, and four. Then there's a Beast Energy. Which is a Prism Star. We got a Field Blower. Two Field Blowers. The Ultra Ball, I love his signature. <laughs> it's great. Uh, we got an Ultra Ball from Shining Legends. Two, three. We have a second Buzzwall. And then ends. One, two. Float Stone, very popular with these decks. Every deck had them so far. He's the first to include a Fighting Fury Belt. Strong Energy from Fates Collide. That has since rotated out as well. Three, full four. Max Elixir, very popular. Then he had a bunch of fighting energy to, to power up his buzzwalls. Five and six and seven, eight energies up. No, nope, nine energies. Um, let's take a look at his deck box. So he has the brown theme, of course, because of his fighting type Pokemon. And we got a Regirock, a Buzzwool, the non-GX version, another very popular card, two and three of those. Then he has the Lycanroc GX, as they were saying in the description. Rock Rough to evolve into Lycanroc and Octillery, super popular from Breakthrough. One, two, got to have the Remoraid. Beast Ring, Choice Band, of course, another Cynthia. So far, all three decks have opened have had much of the same one cards. Cynthia has been in all three. Let's see how many included. He included three, and also Guzma. Similarly, they've all included Guzma as well. Brooklet Hill, this is kind of different. Interesting choice for his deck. And let's pull the code out. And the last one is a Brooklet Hill. 
So yeah, that is it. So we are going to finish up with the very last deck in our next video, which is Pedro Eugenio Torres, Dragons y Sombras. No idea what that means. I failed Spanish miserably. Um, but we will take a look at this in the next video and kind of go through. I spy in the top right corner there are Rayquaza, so I'm guessing it is a dragon theme deck, which is kind of cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video when we will go through Pedro's deck.